Revs, where do we start with that late drama? Caesars pick up all three points. Uh, what did you make of the game? Um, I felt that uh, I felt that the, the first half we, st we started really well, really positive, um, uh, and probably didn't make the most of, of the start in terms of chances and chances, you know, in good, putting the ball in good position. And then you, st you know, you, you think to yourself, right, we're in this position again, weren't we, uh, on Tuesday? And, and you, you begin to think, where are we going to go? But I thought, as the half grew on, I thought Grimsby, you know, grew stronger. And what I did think, I think we showed some real resilience. I think the young defence that we had showed real resilience, showed um, real character to come through and it was important to, to get to half time we felt at nil nil and then obviously Misty produced a fabulous finish from, from just going in behind, running in behind, um, fabulous touch and fabulous finish so we were delighted with Misty there and, and he did exactly what we asked him to do and then second half we felt that we, we, we were better the win was obviously a, a big issue in the game. First half, it was a struggle to get out. Second half, I, think it, I felt like it dropped a little bit, so it, it maybe evened it out a little bit. But I always felt that we were a real threat. We knew that they were going to deliver balls, obviously, into, a, into the box, and we just had to deal with it. I felt we were a real threat on the counter. And we had, an, again, numerous times to go and put the game to bed um, and release my stress a little bit. But we didn't talk, quite take them. And obviously the goal at the end, you, you just feel all that hard work and we should have dealt with it better. But you know, the way that, that Matty gets his goal to, to, to win the game, there, there is no better feeling in football, is there? Um, so listen, we're delighted with the, with the win. Um, there's a lot of work to be done. It was, um, you mentioned it was quite a difficult first half, which going in ahead was a bit of a bonus. But um, second half, it didn't really look like Grimsby were ever going to score. I mean, you knew that obviously with the likes of Hansen and Payne up front, there was going to be maybe half an opportunity there for them, but we dealt with everything that came to us in the second half so well. Yeah, again, the, 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 the boys, the, the younger players that we've got at the back, and then, you know, obviously with include, you know, and Coates, I thought they dealt with it really well um, in, in really tough conditions, to be honest. Um, and then second half, with that, when you have those threats, uh, the target men and the, the type of players they are, if they keep putting balls in the box, you know, it, it's tough to play against. They've, they've learned today, Jamie coming, coming for crosses, you know, we asked him to be aggressive and at times you, your heart's in your mouth at times, but, um, you know, he came and was aggressive. So they're growing and, and we knew that. So, um, yeah, listen, ultimately today was about winning. It was just about, we knew that. We knew it was a massive game for us. So it was great to come in and win. Um, not only a win, I mean, it was the first win, of, first away win of the season, of course, but it should have really been all sewn up um, much before the 93rd minute when they equalised because of the, like you said, the chances that we had on the break in the second half. Yeah, <clears throat> we know that we've got to improve at that. So um, yeah, it should have been. You know, I think that Listy, you know, obviously hit, hit, the, hit the post with a, with a cross, and, and then you're thinking, okay, well we're on the front foot, and we had chances. Jack Smith in the edge of the box when he came on, Danny Newton came on, and really, you know, him, both him and Max Stevens came on and uh, proved a real handful. To be honest with you, it was, a, it was a really good substitution because when you've got those players there, you know that they're relentless in what they do. So we, we deserved the win today. We deserved the win today. I think also from Tuesday carried over. We we're disappointed not to win that game. So. Listen, we all said a point's good against Colchester if we um, if we win today. So we've done exactly what we wanted to do. Um, you know, it's, it's a strange feeling. You, you, you're absolutely delighted with the win, but we know that we you know we, we've got to be better in our performance. Um, but that's a, that's a good thing that we're winning and and, and and you know that you can be better. But football's about moments, and you've got to enjoy the moments when they come like that, don't you? I mean. I watched it back and it was literally passed back from the restart, across, back to Terence, across to Lufa and then the goal. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, you could enjoy it, I think, you know, later, but at the minute, it's, um, I think, you know, it, it, football, that's why everyone loves football, isn't it? It's, it's just an amazing game where, you know, you just don't know what's going to happen. And, and like, like I say, I don't remember the last time at this football club we had something like that. We had that. Little not luck, but we had that. You know, I think it comes from having a real group that's together. It comes through having a group that deserve good things. Like for me personally, they work so hard. So they needed. We've we've deserved something like that. 
um, and um, listen, they're, 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 they're delighted in there. It's a great feeling. I said there, there is no better feeling in the world than, 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 than that, you know, having a real solid together performance and, um, and winning. It, it really is great for us now to, to build on and um, we'll be making sure that when we come in on Monday that we build on that for, for obviously for the next game. It's funny you mentioned togetherness. I was actually going to say, when we did score that winning goal, you could hear the noise even from the bench and the players that weren't involved. It was sounded like it was, you know, a full stand with how happy they were for everybody. Yeah, um, the, the group is is a fantastic group to work with. It, it, it really is. They they come and give every, you know the lads that weren't involved. You know, we know we've got we've got our cap, club captain uh, sitting at home, uh, Luke Prosser at home. So, you know, we've, we've got some real. Uh, a real togetherness. I mean, it's special. It's a special feeling when you have that because ultimately, you know, it's, it's tough when you're not playing, or it's tough if you're losing, or it's tough. You know, we, we are where we are in the league, and we, we are all, we, we, we're working really hard to get away from that. But if you've got a togetherness and you've got a team spirit and you've got a, a willingness just to, you know, to, to give everything for each other, it, it counts and, and um, it adds up. And, and like I said, I've, I've always said that since I've been here. Like that was my one of my biggest things that to bring a group of people that just want to work so hard for each other. Um, and that, that involves everyone, that involves the ground staff at the club, moving all the snow the other day for the game, it involves all of us because we are a smaller club and we want to make sure that as a club we, we're all in it together and that, that you know the players on the pitch ultimately show how much it means to them and the hard work from everybody else at the football club. And I'm sure you'll say it's just the start, but the league table does look a lot better for Stevenage supporters tonight. Of course. We, you know, we know um, how how tough it's been, but um, hopefully that goal probably will bring more joy to to everyone than probably any goal that's been scored for a long time. Because again, they, we've all had you know, disappointments, and um, none more so than those that are watching. So we know that we um, we know that we're doing it for them. We know that we had to win today. We know that they're desperate to come and help us. So hopefully that you know everyone can everyone can be at home and enjoy that tonight. Um, and, um, and and like I say, the, these, everyone's working extremely hard to make sure that this football club doesn't have an, any uh, any time like last year. And and, and you know that, that that was hopefully some reward for that. Perfect. Thank you very much.